best friend. Not many people are are looking up to. Yeah, it's all written in cursive. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not used to cursive. Enough to share in friendship for such a long duration. When we're together, I feel like we could do or say anything we put our minds to. Without our friendships, I truly, I truly feel as if my life would be on such a different path. You always have and still do inspire me. You have, you have pushed me, carried me, and supported me time and time again. Thank you for always sticking by my side through the through the thick and thin. I really could not be more proud of you, who you are, and what you have accomplished. And I hope that you feel like I had a hand in that. I will always be there for you for whatever you need. Thank you for giving me the, the honor of best man and being my best friend. You will be such an amazing husband to your amazing wife. I truly wish you both such a happy, happy, uh, prosperous life together. Never has, never has any other person uh, brought out the raw love inside of With you as <laughs> as Morgan has. Sorry, what you two have is so special. Take care of each other. Always listen to understand and develop your love. With love, your best man. P.S. You did an amazing planning and prepping for the wedding. Thanks, man. Well, Sherry, how about that? There you go. To Brandon. <laughs> You'll never know. To Brandon. To the U.S. Honored guest, you've been invited by Brandon York and Morgan Caldwell to share one of the happiest moments of their lives. Because they have each entered into an eternal and personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ by trusting in him alone for the payment of their sins, the wedding ceremony is a worship service not simply a legal or social occasion. What we're experiencing today is a miracle. The miracle by which God takes two and become one. Morgan, you have done so much for me. You have made me kinder, patient, thoughtful, and wise. I cannot imagine life without you. I peer into your eyes and see a passion for love, not just love for me, but love for your family, your friends, your fellow person, and all creatures that walk this earth. You're driven not by a moral compass that was taught and repeated because that would not be giving credit where credit is due. You made your own principles that were derived from your inherent empathetic and loving nature. And those are virtues I strive to learn, understand, and act on, but in you it is innate. It has been the very fiber of yourself. You're the most human person I've ever met, and it is why I adore you and admire you, because you fascinate me with your very being. You make me feel sure of myself in ways I never imagined. I have the confidence to do anything because I have your love and support. You inspire me to do great things and realize my full potential. And together, we're as yin and yang, we are balanced, our souls are intertwined, let's grow old together, I can see our destiny in your eyes. Love your husband, Brandon York. Dear Brandon, my love, my knight in shining armor, my best friend, my um, goofball, and most of all, my groom. I cannot believe we finally are here on our day. A year of planning and sucking life out of us is finally here, and we get to relish in it. This is our day, only for us. A day that will mark my love to you eternally. It's crazy to think we've been together for four years, and we still have forever to go. From our first date at Smoothie King to our wedding day, I have loved being with you. And I knew you were my person in December of 2019. We'd only been on a few dates and right before Christmas, you got me an early Christmas gift and it was a gingerbread cookie candle. <laughs> <laughs> and from that moment, I knew you were my person. Through all the chaotic and ridiculously fun times at the Tecumseh house to our new home in Wichita, you have loved me unconditionally and spoiled my life with wonderful experiences. Today and every day forward, I promise to love you through and through. <laughs> no matter what life throws in our way, we'll live through it together. I promise to hold you when you're sad, wipe all your tears, love you in the bad times, push you towards your dreams, and live in every moment. You have given me a life only one can write stories about. Today, Brandon, I take you to be my husband, for better or for worse, 
Sickness and health, and I promise to love you. So let us have our life turning. Feel the enormous, exploding heart of love in the air tonight. I love you. I love you. <laughs> My God, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to cry, you see? <laughs> I love how you look, too. You look so good. You look so good. Cute. <laughs> oh my god. I love you so much. Tearing me much. up. I'm, I can't, I don't know why I'm just like thrown off. <laughs> <laughs> For as much as Brandon and Morgan have freely entered into the sacred covenant of marriage and having witnessed the same before God in this gathering and having promised their love and faithfulness to each other and having declared the same by the giving and receiving of rings and by joining hands, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let no man separate. <laughs> it is my privilege to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Brandon. Today, we are celebrating all the love you pour out into the world and the infinite love you receive in return. Actually, I don't know if I'm ever gonna stop celebrating that. Morgan deserves the world, and that is no secret. We all know it, especially Brandon. So thank you for being my best friend, and thank you for asking me to be your maid of honor. And more than anything, congratulations. You are exactly where you are supposed to be, and I cannot wait for what comes next. I love you. <laughs> and I hope this party never stops. Thank you.